What is up my beautiful ladies and kids of the world? It's your Keelan aka it's Keelan and I am back with another mother freaking video. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be like an unusual one because I normally don't do this type of stuff but all over my TikTok there's been a lot going on with this Stephanie Freeman person I don't know so I thought I would come on here and like make a I guess a reaction video to this um just because like I mean I don't know what happened when I tried to go and search it like because I never I'm not on like social media that often I mean I am but like I don't really be on it on it like that so like when I tried to go search her she was like invisible like she deleted her stuff so I had to come to YouTube and do it so I finally found the video and I'm going to react to it I just um and I'll link the video down below where I found it from so that I'm giving the person credit but um yeah i'm gonna watch this video and see what it's about and yeah I don't even have no words for that video, like, really, really, <sighs> I don't even have no words for that, like, let's just rewatch it. First of all, that ER, the whole word itself should never be said, should never be used, but the fact that, you know, we still have some racist people out there, it is unfortunate because, like, at this point, like, it's 2020. Don't you have something better to do than to judge people off the color of their skin? Like, or to stereotype people off of what probably, like, not even majority of our population does. Come on now. Grow up. Yep, I'm black and I'm proud. This is beautiful. That statement right there, don't have a dad. How do we get brought into this world if we don't have a dad? I'm just saying. I have a dad. Pretty sure everybody has a dad. Now, whether that fa their father is in their lives or not is a different story. But to say that we don't have a dad is kind of ignorant because we have to have a dad to be brought in this world. Just saying. I mean, at least that's how I thought reproduction happened, you know? Just saying. And that's just stereotype for the simple fact that I don't even like watermelon and I don't like fried chicken. Like, I, I prefer grilled or baked. Thank you very much. Yeah, 
And then for y'all to put mix, make mixed good choices and then not have anything in the cup, like, Let's, let's let's go back to our history. Rose Parks didn't give up her seat so that we could have this freedom. That was a great choice in my opinion. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, like, learn your, come on now, like, really? We don't make good choices? This video is not a good choice. Just saying. Not a good choice at all. Just saying. The fact that Thomas some rob people specifically whites. I've never robbed anybody. If I want something, I go work for it and I go make my own money for it and I go get it myself. Just saying. Like, this video is so ignor ignorant. Like, I can't, y'all, I'm kind of stuffy, so it's like, but <clears throat> this video is so ignorant. Like, Come on, I like raw people, especially whites. Like, who are you? And by not to be judgmental, but by the way you looking, I don't want to rob you. And that's what triggered me the most because I've never stepped foot inside of a jail cell. My mom worked for the jail as a nurse. That's only how I stepped foot inside of jail. And I was to give her an umbrella. So, but I've never been to jail. I'm just saying. And then, so the person that uh, posted this also posted, um, I guess she apologized. So she says, I want to apologize for the, ab the abhorrent video I posted. I know in my heart how wrong it was. My boyfriend is racist and is slowly normalized. And he's slowly normalized his racism on me. Still, I should have never let him. I believe blacks are human too. Uh, made in the image of Christ. I have disappointed God and I want to apologize. Please don't contact my college. It's my future and one mistake shouldn't ruin my life. Also, please stop with the death threats. Again, I apologize. I say this stuff. I'm not with, you know, the death threats and stuff like that, but um, I don't feel bad that her, that she's, you know, like, I guess they got kicked out of their university from what I was like hearing on TikTok and everything. But I'm not, I don't feel bad about that because you didn't feel bad about posting that video. You still posted it. Like you knew it was wrong, but all of a sudden you have a change of heart. No, if you knew it was wrong and your boyfriend is racist, you should have never went along with it. You should have let him get in trouble by himself. I'm just saying. Right is wrong. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. At the end of the day, that was wrong to post. That was bogus to post. Like, you... Uh, I just don't even know what to say. So then her next post was, I promise to dedicate I promise to dedicate my life to serving God and treat, treat me every human being with respect. I do not expect the public to forgive me, nor do I deserve it. But I pray um, God forgives my sins. That is the only way we heal. But I do to um, take issues with one thing. But I do take issues with one thing. Hatred does not defeat hatred. Threatening, bullying, and canceling me will not resolve this world's the world's problems. Please, I urge everyone to seek God and find peace in Him. I understand why people are angry at me, but I will. Uh, but how will ruining my life change that? My parents are. I guess it was in. She put. She put, meant to put in, but she put O M. My parents live in fear for my life. This is not fair. The fact that you said this is not fair. It's not fair that you posted that video. It's not fair that you were being very, very, very st st stereotypical. Because if we want to be honest, the N word, even though it was directed towards Black people, it was meant for um, the meaning behind it is. Um, I can't even think right now like this video is so heated but if we want to be honest the meaning behind the word 
or the n-word is ignorant or stupid that that was their way of diminishing us this is a true definition of an n-word it has that i mean yes it has something to do with the color of your skin but behind the meaning behind it is stupid they were calling us stupid if you want to be honest and technical just saying yes it was also referring to black people but they would look at those ignorant <laughs> the n-word they were calling us stupid this was stupid just saying i'm i don't even know what to this 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 video honestly just has me really heated right now and it's not even the fact that you know yes you know there are racist people out there um you know there are racist people out there racist people still exist racist people this 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 but my thing is people who are racist they were taught that way they were taught to be racist because i can guarantee you i can guarantee you more than half the population has never ever ever if you were taught to be racist i can guarantee you you have never actually encountered a black person that no let me let me let me clear that up you have never encountered a black person and they they've robbed you or done this or done that or done that you were taught that way for the simple fact that people still are stuck in they're stuck in their bubbles and that's how you were taught you were taught to be that way and it's sad because if the fl if the script were flipped if the script were flipped y'all would be y'all <sighs> I don't even know what to say right now like this is so sad like if the script if the flip ugh, if the script were flipped i don't even want y'all to know how it feels to literally because of the color of my skin i get judged for like, because of the color of my skin people don't like to touch me people walk on the opposite side of the street of me or me especially because i look a certain way or because i i have rbf rbf oh don't she's angry she's this she's that don't talk to her like you don't even know me you don't know me you've never encountered you've never had a a, a a conversation with me but you judge me you judge me and for what i don't come up to you and i judge oh oh don't don't talk to her oh, don't, no that that's not come on it's 2020 we have got to be better than freaking slave times it is 2020 if you if you don't find it if you don't find nothing wrong with that video then please 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 i'm gonna be honest unsubscribe from my channel because i just do not tolerate racism i'm not going to tolerate racism I stand up for what is right, no matter what. And that video is so bogusly wrong. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't even know what to say at this point. Like, you ever just been so shocked and disappointed in something that you have no words? Like, I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but it's just so sad because to see people like this, like, okay, I'm not even gonna lie. Where I live, there's there's still racist people. Like, I've encountered a bunch of them working at Walmart. Like, this lady really, she refused to touch. I mean, I was giving her, or I told her her total. Told her her total. She did. She refused to give me the money in my hand. She slid it across the conveyor belt, and when and I didn't pick it up until she put it in my hand. And then afterwards, I gave. I didn't put her money on the conveyor belt. I gave it to her in her hand. And you know what she did afterwards? She immediately, she immediately went to my manager on me because I gave her her money in her hand instead of going like she wanted to. Oh, she has an attitude problem. Really? It's just sad. Honestly, that we 
we still or there's still closed minded people that think that black people are, are just below you who are you who are you to think that I'm below you you bleed red just like I bleed red I bruise just like you bruise I go earn my money just like you go and earn yours just saying like who are you and that's not that's not just a message to stephanie and her boyfriend that's a message to all the racist people out there who are you to think that someone is better than someone are you god no are you whatever superior being you believe in no There's only one person that I fear. And I don't fear, but um, no other person I fear. There's only one other person that can, that, that's in control and that has judgment over my life. And it's definitely not you. If you bleed red just like I bleed red, if you salute your flag just like I salute my flag, if you were born in America, if you were born in Africa, if you were born wherever you were born. Unknown caller. Unknown caller. Sorry. Just saying. But, uh. My message to everyone is. Let's just try to end racism because there's no point and being racist that video was really ridiculous and um that's pretty much it always remember stay classy a little bit trashy and i'll see you guys in my next video